Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing? Today, we're going to be tackling the question of whether the Troop Warthog on the mission uh, Glast on Halo 5 can be saved. So you might be thinking, uh, what Warthog? So, on the mission Glast, after uh, the part where you have to clear the enemies to get access to the bridge, uh, shortly after you cross the bridge, uh, this is the part where Governor Sloan mentions that there's a Scorpion tank available. Uh, for you to use, and you can choose to use it if you want or not. But uh, once you go around the corner here, see the scorpion tank is in this building to the left. But if you go up the hill here, as you normally are supposed to, there's a troop warthog there, and a Promethean Knight spawns and pretty much knocks it out of the way, and it blows up when it lands on the ground. So it's unmanned, but uh, you know, what if we could save it? Well. Let's uh, give it our best shot now. So let's go back and let's try a few things to save it. These are basically the results <laughs> are are several attempts to save that warthog. Uh, so I'll show you what might work or might not work. So what we're gonna do is there's actually a way to bypass that. Uh, th there's actually a load zone there up as you go up the hill that causes the knight to load in and you can actually bypass that so that the knight does not load in not immediately at least so what we're gonna do is park over here and uh... what we're gonna try to do is you wanna get a bunch of explosive weapons rocket launchers, barn lasers all that we're gonna try to kill the knight right when it spawns so that it doesn't get the chance to actually hit the warthog and we will see if that actually saves the warthog or not so you want to go over the warthog and not fall off the cliff like I did here. So just careful with that little boost there. But just come back up here and before we uh, try anything, let me show you the warthog up close. There's just a few interesting facts about it. As you can see, the warthog is actually indestructible. You can't drive it either, and it won't budge. It uh, it's actually part of the scenery. You can't damage it, you can't nudge it, nothing. It's not an actual warthog. Um, like I said, it's just part of the scenery. But, let's see if um, if we can still save it. So, the knight's gonna spawn right around there, so just make sure you point your rocket launchers at it, and you wanna have other people go up the hill to load the knight, and as soon as it loads in, just quickly shoot it. As you can see there, we did successfully kill the knight before I had the chance to swing uh, its sword at the warthog. But unfortunately, the warthog does appear to be scripted to fly away, regardless of whether the knight actually hits it or not. But we're not going to give up there. Let's try a couple other things. Next thing we're going to try... Well, actually this is more of an interesting fact about the warthog, but... If you if you notice very if you looked really closely earlier, right when the knight spawns, that warthog actually disappears and spawns a new one. That tells me that the original warthog, uh, whether it was part of the scenery or not, it actually gets despawned and it loads in another warthog that's scripted to uh, fly away. But this one here is not actually scripted to do anything other than despawn when the knight comes in. So let's see what happens now if we um, get up close to it and see if that new warthog can actually be driven maybe that new warthog is not as uh... it's not as static as this warthog so we're just gonna have one person stand here and same thing as last time I'm gonna go back onto the cliff there and someone else is going to go up the hill to load in the night and we will see if that new warthog that spawns in can be driven or not. Alright, so here they come up the hill and uh, Taming Chaos is over there getting ready to drive it just in case. So here it comes. See, it disappears, spawns a new one. I did kill the knight, but the warthog just still flies away. And it was not drivable either. So, no matter what, can't stop can't stop the warthog from flying away once you pass that load zone. 
But with that in mind, since we can't actually save the Warthog that way, there is one way left to save the Warthog, and that is pretty much how we save a lot of other things on this channel. Since you saw that we can actually skip the load zone that spawns in the night that attacks the Warthog, we're just gonna not hit the load zone ever. <laughs> we're just gonna skip the load zone so that the knight never spawns in, and if the knight never spawns in, then, well, the Warthog won't be uh, knocked off the cliff and blown up. And let's go see if that actually works. So same thing, just get over the ledge here, make sure you don't have any load zones, and we're just gonna go on ahead this time. Uh, we're having a couple people stay behind just because they can't keep up, but as long as they don't cross the load zone, then hopefully we'll be fine. So we're gonna continue on to the rest of the mission until we hit a few more loading points and teleport other people with us. And then after that, we're gonna make a quick trip back and see uh, see what happened to the Warthog. Whether it despawns, if it's still there, or if for some reason the knight still spawned and knocked it off the edge and blew it, blew it up. We will see what happens. So I'm just gonna make my way up here. Now, you don't have to go back and see if it's still there. You could just get that loading point and keep going. But if you do actually want to go back and see, then once you hit, uh, I guess, you don't want to go too far if you want to go back. If you, like right about here, you don't want to go any further. Because if you go further, you'll actually load in a 10 second kill barrier back there. So you won't be able to go back to see it. But the first loading point you hit, you can st you still have a chance to turn around and go back and see. But right now, we're already past the point of no return. So if we were to head back now, we would have um, that 10 second kill barrier. So, so at this point, you can only go forward. But like I said, if you did stay back far enough, then you could actually just turn around and see what happens to the Warthog, which we're going to do now. We're just going to turn around. Now, technically, you already did save the Warthog, because if you don't see it being destroyed, then technically it isn't getting destroyed. But we are going to go back and take a look now. But like I said, if you cross so many loading points, you will spawn a 10, sec 10 second kill barrier. Uh, so if you do want to go back, just make sure you go back early enough, which we're going to do now. So this is basically as far as you want to go. And you can turn back without hitting the 10 second kill barrier. So just making our way there. Now at the time we didn't realize this, but there is actually a mongoose uh, near where the uh, warthog was. So we actually didn't have to do this part on foot. And neither do you. So yes, you are ditching your vehicle to skip that little loading point, but there's another vehicle up the cliff that you can get so that you don't have to do this on foot. But anyways, there you have it in distance. Our precious troop warthog is still there. Meaning, yes, we have saved it. We prevented the knight from spawning in. And like I said, if the knight can't spawn in, then it can't knock the warthog off the cliff. That script won't kick in at all. Now, of course, if you go back down to the load zone, the knight will actually spawn in. And same thing will happen. So as long as you avoid that load zone, then the knight will never spawn in and the warthog will be saved. So the answer to this question is yes. Yes, you can save the troop warthog. Now, of course, you can't actually drive it or anything, but still, some people are like Halo perfectionists and like to save everything as much as possible. Now, one interesting little tidbit about this warthog here is that once it's on the ground here, it's actually destructible now. Uh, so this is like the new warthog that, that was spawned in, and as you can see, you can, if you keep shooting it, you can actually blow it up again, even though it's already supposed to be blown up. But no matter what, you can't drive it or flip it, so that's that. But it is now destructible. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and if you did, make sure to you know leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and click the little notification icon so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. And I will see you guys next time.